Thank you very much, Ellen. Now to a developing story. Caught on camera, two groups of black women say they were racially profiled at a Hyattsville swimming pool, but the man at the center of both viral incidents say she only recorded, uh, she's only recorded the women and called the police because they were breaking the rules. Michael Quander broke this story. So Michael, how did all this start? Well, Reese, look, here's the deal. Both groups will admit that they both had glass bottles at the swimming pool. And yes, that's against the rule against the rules at most pools. But the man caught up in the middle of both of these incidents says that he saw all of this going on from his apartment window and felt the need to go take matters into his own hands. Glassware is not allowed. To you see this man recording on his phone? That's Nick Star Street. He left his apartment on Saturday to let this group of seven black women know that they were breaking the rules by having glass at the pool. Okay, so glassware. What else do I need to get rid of? For you to be, for you to be comfortable. One of the women agreed to get rid of the glass and appeared to try to de-escalate the situation. But Star Street reported the group to the leasing office and then called police. This don't man send, called the whole the cops send, send, send. on this. This all went down at the addition apartments off East West Highway in Hyattsville. Police showed up, questioned the women, but they couldn't determine if anyone was breaking the law. You know, we have different perspectives than what he has. A second incident happened the next day on Sunday. It was pretty much the same scenario. A pair of black women at the apartment pool with a glass bottle. This time, you can hear one of the women asking Star Street not to record her. She knocks the camera out of his hand, and then Star Street calls 911. Physically attacked by this woman. You see, Star Street says the woman assaulted him and bruised his chest. He is seen in this video following them in the parking lot while on the phone with police. I get that people see me following people, but they don't realize that they just assaulted me and I never even engaged with these people. Despite comments online, Star Street claims both of these incidents had nothing to do with race. He blames his autism diagnosis for the way he reacted. The way that my mind works, I don't always click with other people. You know, a lot of people are not going to see you as the victim here. Uh, what do you say to them? I, it's the way I think. Like, I, I mean, I don't I don't see it any other way. That's my problem. Yeah, now I gotta tell you, most people online are not buying that excuse. Now we did find that this is not the first time that Star Street has been at the center of controversy online. He has a history of making racially insensitive posts and anti-gay comments. Still, Star Street says that he, uh, since these videos went viral, his apartment door was vandalized with the word racist carved in it, and he's also been getting death threats. Reese? You know, this is interesting, Michael, because I, I found his explanation to be possible, but then when you go back and you get the deeper context, then it becomes harder to give him the benefit of the doubt. Right, because people who have autism can get, tend to get focused in on one thing and it can turn into an obsession possibly, but again, he has have his history of being uh, controversial online. Understandable, thank you very much, Michael. Now let's go to Annie.